This is a Samsung fridge with a freezer below that was brought to the shop from an insurance company. It's just got freezing shelves. It's not a self defrosting. It's got little shelves in the freezer. And it's got an internal cold plate on the top. And this is from an insurance company. There was a power surge and uh, electrical board was blown and apparently you can't get these boards. So the insurance company wrote this fridge off and I've got it now. Um, it's got the compressor down there, it's got a capacitor start. Very basic, so I mean all you need to have is a thermostat to control this fridge. So what I've done is I've made a little hole right on the top there and I put a thermostat, a normal double door thermostat bulb and I put this on with aluminium foil tape you take a shelf out there's the thermostat bulb taped onto the section where the internal cold plate is this is the display for adjusting the temperatures and this is the thermostat and that's the little hole where it comes through to the inside so if I get this thermostat to control the compressor switch on and off on the temperature on the cold plate this black wire here is the compressor wire so I'll just connect that onto the thermostat I'll keep the little PC board here because the LED lights inside work off a low voltage and then we just control this Get this in the right setting and it should cycle like normal. The Samsung fridge is now on 2.4 degrees inside the fridge. And there is it running. The two wires connected to the thermostat. So I'll just turn back on the thermostat slowly. And it cycles there, it's about a half a turn. So in this position I'll pull the knob off and hide the thermostat behind this cover and the Samsung will function as normal. All the display lights work and you can push buttons and make the lights light up or not light up. But this doesn't control anything to do with the temperature, it's done by a thermostat behind it.